Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osayua Mesale and today I have Olamide Onifade yes. <laughs> and Isi Ofodile. Hello. Isi Bahome. Isi Ofodile. Yes. Lami. Yes, please. Hmm. How have you been first? <laughs> what have I done with my week? I think it's just been absolutely fine. Okay, I have a confession to make. I didn't do school for my daughter this week. <laughs> uh, you kidding me? Well, she's still young. Yeah, but you can get away with it. Uh, it was also overwhelming for me, and I took out time. I think for me, the week hasn't been so wonderful because of the fact that uh, Nibudun lost Ibidun and Dan no, Foster. No, no, yeah, I'm so, sorry to cut you. It's yes. so painful. I can remember that was mm. what was overwhelming for me. Yes. You know, on Sunday when because I used to attend Trinity, I'm, I'm sorry, Trinity Church. Okay. And. Um, when somebody called me from the church to notify me, it was devastating. Do you know what I did immediately? Mm. I rushed to the bathroom. Wow. Oh. And you know, that was where you called me from yes, the bathroom? Yes, mm. because, you know, I hear people respond in that manner. That was the first time it happened to me. I rushed to the bathroom immediately. Yeah, emotions. I didn't believe it. And the next day, another senator, he's the senator representing my... Yeah. And he lives right in Close my... Close to you. Estate. Yes, really? in the same estate. Wow. You know, so it was just so surreal. Then Dan Foster again, mm. and I gave I up on that, this I think that is the I just peak gave up. of the whole thing for me this week. It was devastating. No, it was a very devastating. It's a tough week. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's it's very, very tough, tough yeah. honestly. Yes, absolutely. Um, I practically shut down my social media. Yeah. I think I, 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 I got know that, that feeling. I got to that stage where, I, you know, I had to do a live video. I was just lamenting and ranting. Then Uti now joined in on the live video. And I was okay. saying to Uti that it's so interesting. I watched the how human beings react. So when, when, when death is happening, everybody's, you know, everybody's now talking about the person. But I say, can we get to that point where we get to that awareness that when people are alive, can we just celebrate, celebrate them? them? Let them trend without dying. Because now I'm, I'm afraid if I see somebody trending on, on Twitter, you know, I, I'm but afraid to check. I don't believe check. that. I believe it's a natural consequence is it, of yes, death. Yes, it because is a national... It's a, no. Last it's a, respect. No, it's a natural consequence. But I'm saying that we don't have the culture of checking I don't up on people. I don't, we don't think no, so. No, we don't. I, mean. I think I, I would I would agree with. We don't have the culture of talking about people. And all that. People celebrate each other. Yeah, like, but it's not as it's much. Not as much as when the person, when the person dies. On. I mean, I've I've watched this, the culture of social media. No, I think it's just shock. It's just people's response to shock, and that's the way they can. Yeah, but you see that what I'm saying is that we are very drawn to talk more, to engage more when it is when it's when it's a negative it's tragic. news. When it's a tragic news, when you when somebody is celebrating a birthday and all of that, you hardly find that much attention. It might just That's be what one I'm little happy birthday. And because and birthdays that come is it. every time, people so celebrate. I'm different just saying things. that you never can tell what will happen tomorrow. So <coughs> I know. When you have the opportunity, celebrate people. Say I love you more. What she's just you trying know? to say: appreciate people when, when they're, they're alive, alive yeah. and not when they're yeah. dead. Not when they're you know, dead. and that's when you now start talking about how good they were and yeah. how bad they were. You yeah, know? I'm telling to you. Appreciate them and let them know that you appreciate them. Yeah. And yeah. I think it counts for um, it, it. It goes a long way to show how much they are appreciated as, as individuals. Absolutely. So, yes. um, and on the other side again, Kenya. Yes. I heard mm. about four thousand teenagers are pregnant <laughs> since the lockdown started. What were they doing? So, <laughs> no, I mean, no, that is something we need to discuss. <clears throat> but we were, I think, well, not that was going on. We talked about <laughs> that. A natural consequence ah, of that. But teenagers. Mm, teenagers. Okay, so here's what we because found. Because they're out of school. Yeah. Here's what we found as today's so that's quote. Part of it. Only people who are capable of loving um, mm. strongly can also suffer great sorrow. But this same necessity of loving serves to counteract their grief and heals them. That's from Leo Tol Soil. Oh. Today we're talking grief. It's very, very sad. And you know the funny thing about this quote? Truly, you know people that love the hardest are the ones that grief the hardest. They feel, yes. They feel the pain the most. Absolutely. I, I, I agree with you. Yeah. And you know, today when it you depends on me, your relationship be... with the person. Mm -hmm. And you if you don't me... love that person, there is no way you would grieve mm -hmm. over that person. But if you have a, a solid relationship. Strong love. That's it, how you, you yeah, it took You'll be totally devastated. Yeah, you're going to say something. No, when yes. you told me about the topic today, I almost didn't want to you, call you. You almost declined, <laughs> yeah. No, because... 
It affected I, me as well. No, yes, I didn't like it. I was like, oh, wow, it's going to be too emotional. Mm. I was going to wear a black dress and I said, no, <laughs> no, not today. I'm not going to wear a black dress. <laughs> to just be well, too today we're discussing managing grief and we have Taiwo Oluyomi Adejumo mm. and um, here to talk to us. But first, let's take a quick break for what's in the news. Thank you. 